Hey there, Walt here from Walt in PA. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about while I have this uh, this old man seat on my brand new 2022 Yamaha MT-09. We're gonna do that on my way to work. Sit tight. So as I've said at the beginning of this video, I have installed an Airhawk cruiser seat on my sporty 2022 Yamaha MT-09. You're probably wondering, why in the world would you put that old man seat cushion on your sporty new bike? <laughs> and the reason is really simple. So I, I first got this bike back in March of this year and I've gone on a couple of medium trips in terms of length and one really long trip. So we set out to see the Iron Man sculpture out in New Ringgold, Pennsylvania, which was about two hours away. And we drive, we ride all the way out there and decide, well, you know what, we're in the area, we're gonna hit up a couple of other roadside attractions. It'll be fun and it'll extend our trip. So we go to another roadside attraction and then we go to another roadside attraction and then we go to lunch and then we kind of take the long way home. All said and done, the end of that day, I think we were out riding for close to 12 hours. Now, keep in mind, that wasn't 12 hours of straight riding. You know, there were lots of breaks in there, but even so, you know, 12 hours of riding, it was a long day. I think we covered maybe 185 miles of backcountry roads, much like this. And I was sore. I was really sore. In fact, it was so bad that I didn't know what was worse, sitting on the bike and riding down a road like this or coming to a stop sign and knowing that I had to put my feet down and shift the pressure by standing up. Uh, it was just excruciating. By the end of the day, I was glad that it was over. I had a, a, a fantastic time, but I was glad it was over. And ever since then, I've been wanting to get something that was a little more comfortable for longer trips. Now I had seen the Yamaha Comfort Saddle review by Blockhead. You know, it looks good. He said it works really well. And it's not crazy expensive. It's, it's 250 bucks, but you know, that's, that's not awful given that, uh, what, is, what is it, Saddleman? But what, there are a couple of other brands out there. Uh, you know, some of those will run you five, 600 bucks. So I went out and I started looking for a comfort saddle. I tried all of the usual retail outlets and all of them were back ordered. In fact, I even tried buying direct from Yamaha. Same thing, you know, indefinitely back ordered. And it was really disappointing because I wanted that seat. I thought it looked good on the bike and it's it was supposed to work really well. And I really didn't want to spend, you know, 500 bucks on a seat that I may not like. So I had mentioned this in Discord, and uh, one of the server regulars, TikTok, had mentioned that his Tracer GT9 has a an Airhawk seat cushion on it, and he thought it worked really well. It was, was able to extend his rides, and that I should should give it a shot. You know, I had seen these these air cushion seats before, but I hadn't really given them a lot of consideration, mostly for two reasons. Uh, one, I, I just don't want to look like a hemorrhoid donut on my bike. And two, I was afraid that I would feel disconnected from the bike sitting up off the seat, and perhaps even worse, it might slide around under me. That Not only is that a scary thought, um, it, it would take a lot away from the ride. But after he had suggested it, I decided to hop over to Amazon, check the pricing. They were about 90 bucks, and I ordered one. I had it about two days later. Now, the Airhawk seat does not come with a, a recommendation for the, the Yamaha MT-09 series. So, in other words, they make a variety of seats in different sizes, and you can plug in your bikes make and model into the Airhawk website and they will recommend a seat that is supposed to fit your bike. Only the MT-09 wasn't an option in the make and model list. So I wound up going with one of the cruiser seats and surprisingly it fit pretty well. Um, installation is 
a breeze. I mean, there's really nothing to it. You take your old seat off, you know, put the key underneath, unlatch it, pop the seat off, flip it over, and then basically you're you're lacing the elastic bands for the Airhawk seat over your existing seat and then reattaching them to the Airhawk and then cinch down and you're effectively done. I mean the whole process might take two minutes. So really there there isn't much going on there. Now the premise is that you take this Airhawk seat, you attach it to your bike and then you fill it with air. It, it creates a, or places a bladder of air between you and the bike. And the idea is to give you a soft cushion with minimal pressure points. And you do that by fiddling with the air pressure so that it distributes your weight evenly and you kind of, the, and the seat kind of forms around your butt. Now, from my experience, you do have to fiddle with the air quite a bit to get it to feel just right. Otherwise, uh, if you wind up with it being overinflated, you definitely have those pressure points and you'll start to feel sore within maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Pretty much, however long it takes for you to get sore on your stock seat, that's what it's gonna take for you to get sore on the Airhawk if it's overinflated. Now the placement of the valve, there's a little zipper on the back of the seat where you can, you basically you just turn the valve, it opens up. You can either blow into it to fill it with air or just don't do anything and the air will come out and then you can close the valve again. But with a gloved hand, I can't, I can't adjust the, the valve. So basically if I start to get sore, I need to find a place to stop, get off the bike, fiddle with the air test it out again, ride some more, rinse and repeat until I get the, the pressure kind of where it needs to be. So a group of us were planning on going on a an all-day ride. Uh, basically we were riding from Pennsylvania down to Lewes, Delaware, taking the ferry over to Cape May and then we were going to ride back to Pennsylvania. All said and done, we were riding about 12, 12 and a half hours. It was a very long day. It was an absolute blast. I had a great time. And I think I was more comfortable on the Airhawk than I was the stock seat the last time I did that kind of seat time. Now that's not to say that the Airhawk was perfect by any stretch of the imagination. So after some fiddling around with it, I found that I probably had it overfilled the first hour, hour and a half, because I started to get sore, started to get uncomfortable. So when we stopped for fuel, I fiddled around with the air and I was able to shift the pressure from one spot on my butt and kind of distribute it out a little bit more by taking some air out. Um, and then I rode again until the next fuel stop, another, or until we stopped again, which was probably another two hours later. And I had to kind of fiddle with the air again just because it wasn't quite feeling right. Now on our return trip home, basically it was just a long long way on highways so there were virtually no instances where we came to a traffic light and you could get that momentary break where you put your feet down and stand up and try to stretch a little bit so I was seated for at least two hours on the way home and it was getting it was getting rough the Airhawk seat helped considerably but uh, I, it, it helped because it allowed me to continuously change the pressure points. So, you know, if I was getting a little bit of pressure closer to my inner thighs, I could adjust the air so that instead of being more in my groin, it was spread out more across my butt. And I think that helped extend my ride. And it's why I think the Airhawk is a, is a great product, especially if you're planning on stopping for fuel or you're, you're going to be stopping every hour and a half, two hours. It's recommended anyway, you know. <laughs> but if you're, if you're able to stop and adjust, you know, I think the Airhawk is a, is a product that could really help 
stretch out your ride time. Um, and at about $90, I think it's worth the price of admission. Now, with that said, there are there are some issues. As I said, I, I can't adjust the valve while I'm riding. So if you get stuck on a highway where you don't have the opportunity to to get off and fiddle with the air, it's it's really not going to help you much. Um, you do feel like you're sitting a bit higher on the bike, even with you know that recommended half inch of airspace. I feel like not only am I sitting up a little higher in the bike, but when I stop, like at a traffic light here, I feel like I'm stretching a little bit more. Um, again, it's not much, but it is noticeable. So I guess the most important question when it comes down to it is, if I had to buy the Airhawk seat again, would I? And the answer is yes, but with a but. <laughs> I would buy the Airhawk seat again, but I have no intention of leaving this on my bike full time. Um, aesthetically, I don't like the way it looks, um, but I do think it functions well for longer rides. So if I were planning on doing another trip, you know, down to the ferry where we were gonna be out, eight, 10, 12 hours, I'd attach this bad boy to my bike and away I would go. But when I got home, I'd be pulling it right back off again. The only reason it's on the bike now is because I was running late and I wanted to record this video and I wanted it to be on the bike while I recorded it. But rest assured, when I get home, the donut's coming off. So if you're in the market for a seat cushion that's going to help extend your ride, consider buying the Airhawk. Price isn't too bad, it seems to work fairly well, and it might just do the trick in extending your ride. That's going to do it, folks. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Not only does it tell me that I'm on the right track with producing content that you enjoy, it helps uh, spread the word and give me some exposure to other motorcycle enthusiasts. As always, ride safe, and I will catch you in the next one.